Multi skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a backup of our table in uh, MySQL Workbench. This is in continuation with uh, what we had learned how to take the backup of uh, database uh, metadata or uh, metadata with the uh, with the uh, data of uh, the the databases which are hosted on a MySQL server. So, so what we are going to see in this is uh, a table exists in uh, employees uh, schema, and we are going to take the backup along with the data. So I have a VMware uh, which is uh, which is having the Oracle Enterprise Linux 6.5 installed. There is a privileged user uh, which has already been created MySQL backup 51, and um, uh, Workbench is uh, locally installed on my system. So I'm going to connect to uh, that particular uh, uh, Workbench. Uh, so this is uh, a MySQL Workbench and. Uh, uh, this is the connection which I'm going to talk about this. So just click this and this will take you to the uh, to the connection to that particular server. So the IP is 192.168.1.51. So I'm already connected. Now you can see there are different uh, tabs available: file, edit, view, query, database, server. So just go to server and say data export. This is very very simple. There is nothing great in this. Just wanted to show the different options which are available. So it is going to select everything um, onto that particular server. The the mandatory part is you need to have a privileged user who can read or access all the schema. So I'm just going to uh, select the employees schema, and uh, you can see uh, that there are these are the number of schema objects. These are the tables. So uh, let me just select only one just for this demo that is the department's uh, uh, table and uh, if you wanted to uh, uh, dump the stored procedure and functions associated with this so you can use that otherwise you can leave according to your requirement so by default it is going to select a dump structure and data but you have the option for data only or the dump structure only so i'm going to take dump structure and data both and uh, then you have the export option where if you wanted to export it to a project folder you can do that or you can export it to a self-contained file so that everything will be there into a particular file only and if you wanted to have everything in a single transaction since uh, uh, there's a very very small database and uh, the relevant object is also very uh, very very small and there is no transaction going on so you can can do that do you want it to include the include create a schema you can do that otherwise it is your option let me click that if you have to restore this particular table on some other database where a schema doesn't exist so you have to be very careful when you are going to use this just say start export and uh, this will take the export so it is nothing else but this is just mysql dump uh, a command which is running through the gui prompt and uh, uh, all the options are are being automatically included according to your selection so export completed just go to the uh, the file which you have created so it is uh, dump 20.25034 just go to that it has already been created I think this is the one uh, Let me say this is a table. Just say start export. Let me take it once again. It is done. And it should be available now. This is the one. Uh, let's see what all has been captured in this. So it will be just the create a statement and the data. So it is saying. Uh, so you, you can see that first we, we selected the create uh, schema statement as well. So it is saying create database if not exist employees. So that has been that statement has been generated. Then it is saying use employees and uh, then drop table if exist department. So it is going to uh, drop that. Then it is going to create that particular table. Uh, 
that and uh, then it is going to lock it and then it is going to insert any data if it is existing so uh, there is some data so it is going to insert that as well so you can use it onto the same server or other server for the restoration purpose so this is very very simple and easy to use uh, uh, GUI tool uh, for backup and restoration I hope this is going to help and thanks for watching